All right, so this is our hands elevated push-up progression. We love to use the push-up because it's scalable to anyone uh, with any type of equipment available to them. So even your grandmother could be doing this exercise or a variation of the push-up, which is why we include it in Sports Rehab Experts rehab programs as well as workout programs. I'm gonna show you the hardest version first, as well as the easiest version, and then we'll fill in the gaps to show you how you can progress from the easiest version to the hardest version. If you're in the gym, we're gonna use two plates to elevate your hands to increase the depth of the push-up. You can also use dumbbells to do this as well too, to increase the depth of the push-up. If you're at home, you can use some books that you have laying around or a cheap yoga block, two cheap yoga blocks that you can get off of amazon.com just to add a little bit of depth to that push-up. So as you can see, this elevates the hands and allows you to go through a larger range of motion and increase the depth of the push-up. Now, keys to this exercise is we want to make sure the sternum stays parallel with the floor and we don't allow our hips to sag or put our butt up towards the ceiling. So you'll see people really sag their hips and arch their back and drop down. That's not what we want. We also don't want your butt up towards the ceiling dropping down. We want a nice straight line head to toe and really reach through those arms and sternum is parallel with the floor as we drop down. And as we push up, everything moves as a unit, just like an elevator would. And you're gonna do this for the desired number of reps. From a side angle, you can still see sternum stays parallel with the floor, belly button stays parallel with the floor, and we move as an elevator, body moves as a unit, up and down. Elbows are gonna be out at a 45 degree. We don't wanna pinch them in close to the side and we don't want them flaring out really wide either. We want them somewhere in the middle, anywhere in the middle that feels comfortable for you. That's gonna be the angle that you're working on. I forgot to mention how you can advance past the standards of flat ground. You make it more challenging by elevating your feet. And again, you can have both hands elevated to add that depth to the movement. You can also go hand staggered where you have one hand on the elevation and one hand on the floor doing it on both sides. Another way of adding challenge is by adding a weight vest on. You can do this from flat ground, again hands elevated, or we can go to one hand elevated. The hardest would be feet elevated, both hands elevated, with a weighted vest on. Without breaking form, still having good technique. Dumbbells can provide the same effect. You'll notice that it's going to be more effective for you to angle the dumbbells in towards each other. This is going to align with that elbow position at the bottom of the push-up. Concept still the same, chest is proud, sternum is parallel with the floor, as well as the belly button. Move as a unit downward and push back up and perform for a desired number of reps. Now if going from your toes is too challenging, you can drop down to your knees and make it a little bit easier. Same concepts, we're just going to be starting from the knees. My chest is going to be up proud, but I'm not arching my back either. Sternum goes down towards the floor, and then you push back up. This is gonna be a little bit more of an arcing movement. You'll notice the sternum is more facing towards the camera here, and then we'll lower towards the floor. It's parallel with the floor now, and then push up and back. So it's a little bit more of an arcing movement back and forth when you're going from your toes. So it's a little bit more of that arcing movement when you're going from the knees. Sternum up proud, sternum parallel with floor. Sternum up proud, sternum parallel with floor. With all the push-up variations, we don't want the shoulder dumping forward. We want to keep that chest and clavicle up proud. Now an alternative to the two-handed push-up is to just elevate one hand. Elevating one hand allows a little bit of rotation to happen through your trunk, which is a little bit more shoulder friendly. So again, if you're feeling some type of symptoms, 
This version is gonna be a little bit simpler than the two-handed version. So this is where we just elevate one hand. And again, we can do this from the top of the push-up position, dropping down, coming back up, dropping down, coming back up. So this means just one side of your body at a time is going to be going through the larger or more extreme range of motion. And then you repeat the same thing on the other side. Now say, and during the workouts you'll see us program at sportsrehabexpert.com, you'll see us programming, you know, say like sets of 10, but that's geared towards straight push-ups with two hands. If you're doing this one arm elevation, you're gonna do five per side. So half of what is programmed. And keep in mind, we can continue using a plate with this exercise as well too. Now I like a plate, one, because it requires you to get a little bit more wrist range of motion, actually forces you to develop some of that wrist mobility, but you can also lower the plate as well too. This is a 45 pound Olympic plate. If you choose a 25 pound Olympic plate, you're not gonna be going into as much depth. So that's another way of making the push-up simpler is reducing the depth that you're going down into some of these extreme ranges of motion with the hands elevated push-up position. You can also, again, be doing this single arm variation from your knees. Nothing changes. This is still that swooping motion where again, sternum's up proud, sternum parallel with floor. Sternum up proud, sternum parallel with floor. And we're trying to keep a nice neutral back position throughout the entire exercise. So those are all the variations we have from the floor. So if you can't do it from a full push-up position or from the knees, then we need to regress to an even easier push-up position. And we'll show that in a moment. And the easiest way to do that is using a stairwell that you have at home, or you can use a plyo box if you're in the gym. So in the gym, oftentimes there's a plyo box or a box for step-ups. You can use these different heights of boxes to make the push-up easier. It can be a push-up here. Again, sternum parallel with the box in this instance the whole entire time. Move yourself up and down just like an elevator. The body moves as a unit. Don't just move your chest down and butt up. Don't just sink your butt down and back up. We want everything moving as a unit and sternum staying parallel with the box the entire time. Now the height of the box is going to make it easier. The higher you go with the box, the easier it becomes. The lower you go with the box, the harder it becomes. And again, if that's too hard in a push-up position, we can always go from our knees. And this is literally where anybody can start the push-up process. Whether you're after a surgery, whether you're an 85 year old grandmother, you just got to be able to kneel comfortably on the floor, put some pads down if you need to kneel comfortably, you can do a push up and then the, the concepts still remain the same. We're going to keep our sternum parallel to the box in this instance and we are going to push away from the box, lower down, push away, keep chest up proud, sternum and body moves as a unit. No plyo boxes available in your gym. Simply hook the barbell up to the squat rack. And this allows you to do the same exercise. Sternum stays parallel with the bar. Your body moves downward as a unit and you push up and away from the barbell. And again, you can do this from a kneeling position as well too and start there if that's where we have to start the process. And again, same thing, the higher you take the barbell, the easier it becomes, the lower it gets to the floor, the harder it becomes. Literally anyone can do this from the wall. So this does not require much effort to lower ourselves down and push ourselves back away from the wall. So the wall would be the easiest version of this. You can easily do this at home Hands up on the third step, work your way down, second step on the knees, first step on the knees, and then getting all the way to flat ground. You can also work your way back up to feet elevated on the stairwell, 
Down to the next step. And down to the final step. Stairwell is a nice option. What you'll notice is you can't get quite the same depth because your nose is gonna get in the way in the, the step above where you're doing the press up. So stairwell, not the ideal for the depth. Still go into the gym, use those steps in the gym or the barbell in the gym for a better option. But again, with no equipment, can't get better than this to start out.